Okay. So having two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck is talks about overall energy, guys, and what energy is gonna you're gonna take it towards um second part of April. So I think by the end of the uh, middle of the month, um or end of the month for some of you, um you might be facing some kind of decision and it's gonna be something to do uh, quite emotional I would say um, and yeah it's just like many many cards talks about decisions ending cycles so, so we have lovers card so it's your card it could be your energy chariot might talk about decisions too two of pentacles about talks about decisions so I do feel that you have literally fighting inside of your head um trying to prove someone something or fight fighting with your own thoughts what i do feel for some of you because i do feel for some of you guys you do want to make a commitment to someone and move on you know um to the uh, have commit to the oh i can't speak guys what's going on <laughs> sorry um you want it to move forward in your relationship and stuff or you want some kind of movement in your relationship. You want someone to make up mind up. You or is you feel the pressure that you need to make up the mind up about something, some kind of commitment. For some of you, it could be that you are making decision if you should commit to the cancer person. As we have page of cups here. This talks again, um, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I do feel for some of you guys, you might feel very conflicted about this person who's in your life or you're about to get committed or you committed already and you fighting and thinking that this person's going to change their mind about something. Um, that you can make this person to change their mind about something or that you will be all right with what this person uh, have to offer to you. But it does feel puts you in um, like nine of cups and nine of swords. Again, you that you try, you're not sure which, what is going to happen, even though you have this, um, attitude towards you know like yeah no everything is going to be fine yeah yeah i'm uh, i will be able to do that or maybe not that's why you have seven of wands i do feel is something you feel very either passion about it or you have the feelings for this person and you don't want to just give up on them but if the world card here is just universe says you know it's time for you to, to make some kind of decision, either, um, you know, make a peace and live with that, or make a peace with yourself, or that is not working out, and move on. For some of you, it could be, uh, you need to make a choice between two people. Maybe you are committed to, um, water sign, but you have fire sign in head, in your heart, in your thoughts. Um, someone, you feel a special connection with them. And do you feel that some sort of communication by the end of two, those two weeks is going to happen? Someone is traveling. Um, either could be you guys traveling or um, significant other 
or someone you interesting and have a um, keep them on the mind they might be traveling abroad and you might feel the need to contact them ask how they doing you know or just literally check them on a social media how they doing and stuff <coughs> sorry For some of you, if it's career-wise, uh, something regarding it, something's going to happen overseas, um, I think, or far away, or someone from overseas might help you with your business, or someone who's traveling might help you with your business. For some of you, do you hear a message saying, expand your horizons? So whatever that could mean for you guys, for your business, for your work or something, expand your horizons. For those, do you feel that... Um, some kind of offer is coming your way or is in front of you or is coming uh you know as i said in the future it's not definitely it's gonna devastate you for some of you it's gonna be no it's not what i want it's not what i expected it's uh, what you're doing you're turning my world upside down and i literally feel gemini you either gonna turn someone else's life upside down or you're gonna turn your life upside down so let's pull a few, um, oops, sorry, additional cards from different deck. So either it's going to clarify these messages or give you additional insight in the situation, what this might be. Okay, and we have... Five of Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles, again, and with the Lovers. It's just, what's going on, guys? Queen of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Fool. And overall energy is Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Just would like to show quickly, there was Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. If you love, if this love regard in reading is, is someone else is involved, um, or you just lost in between two people or someone came into your life and you just like not sure about your future with the, um, current partner. Definitely the truth coming in, guys. The truth are coming in and The possibilities to work uh, on a relationship with a fire sign might look um, like taking risk is something uncertain and you might be scared and not sure what it might bring you. But so, yeah, definitely you have like, OK, should I is it better devil I know? Or should I try something new? What I should I do? So definitely do feel Gemini, um, making decisions is going to be very strong energy. Um, but the last week's readings, um, for <laughs> Gemini was amazing. And with 11 major arcana cards is big changes. It was suggesting that big changes are coming. You want this or not. So I think with a world card here, um some swords coming through movement with the chariot i do feel you want this or not truth are coming out you know whatever you've been hiding um maybe you will decide not to hide how you feel about certain people certain situation um certain commitments for some of you, if it's not a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, even though I feel very strong, Aries energies with the full card over here, 
is my field that you would decide to go with exciting new creative idea, new exciting creative projects. Let me adjust a little bit more for you guys. Here you go. So it's just, just clarity coming in, guys. You know, um, it's not worth fighting anymore. You know, we have nine of, uh, swords here. We have seven of wands here. Five of swords here. It's swords here. Sword here. And I feel it's an air energy. So you should be the person who's telling the truth, setting the truth free, you know, and the, the truth will set you free. Um, if you keep someone in limbo, um, playing up someone, um, not letting them know your true intentions and stuff, stop doing this, guys. Because your actions stopping that another person is probably fire sign move forward in their life because you're making them confused. They're not sure what to expect. Should they wait for you? Should they not? You need to let them know where you stand. You need to stop juggling those two people. I do feel definitely is two people around you and you playing if not both of them, you're playing one of them at definitely. And maybe it's innocent flirtation, let's say, or something. But think if those innocent flirtations that what the other person understands and sees. Maybe they think it could be something, you know, you can work through and have some kind of relationship or something. Um you know, you need to set the things straight somehow. Somehow, guys. Okay, let's pull some oracle cards. For some of you, it could be uh, the person at work, definitely. For others, is person who travel, one of them, or... Uh, if you're dealing only with one person, it's fine. For some of you, if it's not a love triangle, let's say, like if you're not interested in two people, it just feels like you're still playing, but you're playing yourself the most. <laughs> I hope you get it, what I'm trying to say. You know... um Maybe you concentrated on your career and you think whatever is happening in your love life or family life is fine. But you need to understand, you need to face certain things in your life. You need to set something straight. Something you've been avoiding for a very long time. Maybe even seven years. Because, weirdly enough, it starts with the seven ends with the seven. So it could be indicator of seven years. And we have seven again. Okay. We have woman holding a coin. Well, so this card talks, you know, either this woman is going to come into your life, someone who's financially stable or have like uh, some kind of financial goals. Um, she is, she's feels like um, queen of pentacles, like very motherly figure. Uh, she could be a mother or someone who can bear children for you if you're a man. Um, if you're a woman, you might meet a friend definitely in a new job, um, or someone's coming into work into your workplace. You can make a good friends and help you out. Maybe new bosses coming in and will help you with your future, um, career at work. Yeah. Okay. Let's pull another card.
And we have assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. What did I say, Gemini? What did I say? You put up this something. It could be family matter, work matter, I don't know, friendship matter, anything. You've been putting up, you know, to face, you know, maybe you were trying to please someone, but maybe it's a time to send up what you want and, you know, move on. If not with someone else, maybe by yourself, but you, there is a new start waiting for you. Whatever, you know, either, uh, situ your situation are in it. You may amend relationship. You might get some clarity. You can move on with someone else. You move on by yourself. You know, for everyone is going to be different. But what I'm trying to say, you know, for past few months, your reading was definitely was talking about making some kind of decisions. Okay, and we have miracles and blessings. Everything has its gifts. Beautiful card. So let's see what it says. And it says, you drew this card because you have many miracles happening in your life right now. The angels are asking you to look at how things are. Look again. What I said. <laughs> you will find that your life has been filled with many miracles and blessings. And yes, it is, Gemini. Only if you find a way to see them. You know, first of all, what you need to need uh, to, to do, Gemini, is to be honest with yourself. Then you're going to do that. You know, you will see the path where, what, where is, where is hitting, you know, and, you know, see that these possibilities are endless. 